And I think powerful knowledge um, is um, a good way to answer that question. Um, the two words, powerful and knowledge, are um, everyday words that we all understand. But put them together in a way that uh, a British sociologist called Michael Young has done, uh, uh, makes it a technical term. I mean, it's um, capital P and capital <coughs> K. And in, and in brief, what Michael Young is arguing, um, which is very interestingly uh, quite different from what he was arguing nearly 40 years ago when he wrote one of the most influential books in British education, which was called Knowledge and Control, where he talked about the knowledge of the powerful, excluding certain kids from the curriculum. He's almost had a bold face on that. And he said, um, what, what's really important is that all young people, in order to um, fulfill their potential and be able to fulfill or take choices in their life, need access to powerful knowledge. And, for, and he, he acknowledges that for, for many young people that might be quite challenging. Why? Well, Let's see what powerful knowledge is. And the first thing that um, I think is important is to make the distinction between what he calls powerful knowledge and everyday knowledge. Um, we all have knowledge and we can gain it very, very simply in our everyday lives. Um, and I think one of Michael's uh, questions is to what extent is everyday knowledge and everyday geography, let's call it, becoming a, um, a, a too important idea in the curriculum that we offer kids. Because Michael would say, why would, you, why would we send children to school uh, simply to learn what they already know uh, through their everyday lives? Schools have a sacred pur purpose to do something more than that, and that's to induct kids into this thing called powerful knowledge. So he makes that distinction. Powerful knowledge is not everyday knowledge. And, and in what ways is it not? Well, powerful knowledge is often abstract. It's often theoretical. Um, it's often counterintuitive. Uh, in other words, it needs to be taught. You can't just pick it up from the supermarket. So that's the first thing. The, the second thing you would say is that powerful knowledge has a high degree of systematicity. That, that's a word from uh, Vygotsky, I think. Um, what he means is that it's connected. Um, and that's what disciplines do. They, they enable uh, knowledge to uh, accrete and develop in a systematic way uh, through models and theories and so on and so forth. Um, so that's an important aspect of proper knowledge. And finally, Michael would very strongly emphasize that it is specialized. Uh, it comes from specialist communities, such as the disciplines that we're working on. And what we would propose is that geography is such a specialized uh, discipline. Um, and the argument is that um, uh, young people need to be introduced to, um, to disciplines because that gives, gives just an insight. And for some kids, it might not be much, but at least a foothold into this idea of how better knowledge is made how knowledge, what we think we know, is challenged, uh, how it's tested, how it's uh, argued about, um, how sometimes it can be uh, set aside because there are theoretical developments or findings that um, supersede what we thought we knew. Um, I suppose what we're saying in geocapabilities is that the geo of geocapabilities needs to focus very hard on what it is that we're claiming um, uh, geographical knowledge actually um, contributes to this notion of a capable individual. Um, ultimately, of course, it's the, the notion of the Earth as an object of study that is important in terms of our relationship with it and uh, with each other without that sort of knowledge, hard-won knowledge, 
um, then we're, we're slightly disempowered. In other words, where our capability is deprived in some sort, some sort of way. You could make the same claims probably for history or science, doesn't it? and that's fine. But but we're talking about geography. Is that okay for the moment? Yeah. I think but, could you give um, more? <laughs> <I'm afraid. laughs>